Man is not an animal. We are not a part of the animal kingdom. When it premiered at Venice in September, the master won instant converts. Joaquin Phoenix stars as Freddy Quell, a damaged Navy veteran who ricochets between jobs after the war, makes paint stripper into booze and tries to shag sandcastles. Drunk one night, Freddy stumbles into the arms of Lancaster Dodd, Philip Seymour Hoffman's self-styled spiritual saviour. It's almost the stuff of rom-com. After that meet cute, the two men tussle and wrangle, polar opposites drawn to each other, fighting, resisting and inspiring. I'm making all this up as he goes along. If you leave here, I don't ever want to see you again. Joining me to discuss this week's releases are our very own Freddy Quell and Lancaster Dodd. It's Andrew Pulver, the film site editor and film critic at Peter Bradshaw. Yeah. Peter, you've seen this film probably twice now. Does it, yes. does it reveal much more on the second viewing? Uh, it reveals different things. I, I mean, I loved it twice over. I saw it once at Venice uh, and then again here in London. Uh, I thought it was great. I f as I say, I felt self-conscious about raving about it all over again because I've already raved about There Will Be Blood, a film it resembles in some ways. It, it has a similar kind of address and style to the audience. And as in There Will Be Blood, the master has an extraordinary opening sequence, a deeply strange and weird and mesmerizing opening sequence, helped very signally by Johnny Greenwood's uh, complex and interesting uh, orchestral score. Yeah, it's almost wordless again, yeah. isn't it? Though? Again, it's, a yeah. difficult, and again, from the get-go, you realize that other movies aren't like this. It kind of exposes other straight Hollywood movies as looking pretty formulaic when you realize that this really does look weird and different and odd, and I think several cuts above uh, the standard product. What about you, Andrew? Were you a convert? I did feel slightly sort of underwhelmed by it. Um, obviously, it resembled There Will Be Blood in sort of many ways, you know, structurally and the, the sort of relationship between the, 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 the two men. Um, but but I, I, suppose I, I, I suppose I just found the two characters just slightly opaque and, and sort of not, you know, in, in a sort of very basic way. I didn't kind of feel it, you know, in, in the way that I suppose Day Lewis's supercharged performance in There Will Be Blood really kind of socked it over as you often say in, mm. your, in your reviews and I suppose it just felt a little bit to me like you know I mean it, it, it was sort of made in a real sort of classic uh, muscular um, piece of American filmmaking and it felt like a little bit like reading one of those very sort of classic American novels from the sort of 20s or 30s that are just that that you can sort of tell a straining to be very important for me it didn't, didn't quite get there for some reason I don't know I mean, it is much, much less immediately kind of uh, quotable or grabby than There Will Be Blood, yeah. isn't it? It doesn't have that kind of panto accessibility to it. Yeah. Uh, and also, I mean, I suppose the Scientology thing may, may be a bit of a sideshow on some level. I mean, obviously, that was how, how it was sort of how it arrived as, as being this sort of, not exactly assault on Scientology, but him being the sort of first person to sort of at least sort of take it on that it, that, it, that it was considered this sort of slightly sinister organization and, and I suppose that's where it's 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 sort of a attempt to be a founding American myth in the same way that what there will be blood was we're saying you know th th here look at this this is such a sort of strange American thing to happen for me though it sort of there, there was something a bit airless and isolated about what was happening in the film that it didn't actually seem to be that related to the rest of America's idea. You know, you hardly saw anything outside this very no. small group mm. of people and, and, and in a way there will be blood was on a bigger scale. I think the sort of red herring is the Scientology in this, that mm. actually he's not interested in whether or not Scientology or whatever Lancaster Dodd is promoting is, 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 is a, a, you know, a phony thing. He's interested in the power struggle between the two men. Their actual the structure of the relationship is completely different. I mean, obviously, Day Lewis just sort of blows everybody else away and pulled down obviously a sort of young actor mm. and, and sort of was burned to a crisp sort of even on the screen as, as, a, as a performer whereas here mm. you know you've got two yeah. two figures of fairly equal weight and substance obviously you know very, very different in terms of what they're aiming for and what they're doing but mm. um, I mean I don't want to come off like I'm sort of really knocking it I mean obviously this is a sort of major filmmaker at work here and you know you, you have to pay due respect it's just I suppose there's, uh, there was just something about it that I, I that, that sort of said just didn't quite catch fire for me. But you know, that's yeah. maybe being a little fussy. I, I personally I find know. even his faults, if and if I'm prepared ungraciously to concede faults, these are a thousand times more interesting 
than the polished uh, craftsmanship of uh, a studio-built movie. I mean, they're I mean, just a, they're, yeah. we end up being far more critical of Tom, Tom, Paul Thomas Anderson and waving through mediocre films mm. all the time mm. in a way. I mean, I think the, one of the interesting things about him as a filmmaker is he is working with classic material in the way mm. that, I don't know, a lot of his contemporaries in the sort of new Hollywood scene don't, because they, they tend to sort of find very self-consciously quirky, odd, mm. weird little exactly. subjects, you know, the being John Malkovich type film, whereas yeah. Paul Sonsanz is saying, I am going to make a film kind of like Howard Hawks might have made, or John Ford, mm. but I'm going to make it modern and interesting. And, yeah. and, um, and he made, and this is what this film sort of feels like in a way. It feels like classic mm. Hollywood, classic. Slightly, ambitious. you know, Hunting ambitious in, in, in that sort of yeah. big biopic way, recalibrated for a sort of modern, mm. supposedly sophisticated, more sophisticated audience. What do you do? I am a writer, a doctor, a nuclear physicist, a theoretical philosopher. But above all, I am a man, just like you. 